all right welcome to Femi Bong TV and in today's video I want to show you guys how to produce a bath gel or shower gel at home now note there are several ways in producing shower gels this is just one of the ways you can use this is an easy method it doesn't mean that this is the final method there are several ways you can literally produce a bath gel so don't just see this video and conclude that this is the only method you could use this is just one of the methods that I realized that you could use to produce what a bath gel or a shower gel. So just watch this video, try and understand everything that I will be showing you, follow it step by step. So I will try my possible best to highlight the benefits of each of the ingredients I will be bringing to this our production today. So just watch this video and note what I'll be displaying on the screen. next thing i'll be doing is to dissolve my powders which is the uh, chemicals that's my sodium sulfate over there i have dissolved it in water and i'm going to keep it aside for it to properly dissolve this could take up to 30 30 minutes or 20 minutes because sodium sulfate doesn't take too much time to dissolve what will actually take much time to dissolve is our SLS, which is a foaming agent. So I'll keep that for it to dissolve. And the next thing I'll be dissolving is the SLS. And this one could take up to 45 minutes to fully dissolve. So I'm going to add the water and stir, then also keep it aside for it to properly dissolve. So first of all, the, what we'll be doing is to produce the gel. Since we are making a shower gel or a bath gel, we have to first of all produce the gel. So the mixture of the SLS and sodium sulfate will give us a jelly production.
I'm going to keep this for 24 hours, meaning I will check it the following day. So after 24 hours, this is what we got. This is our shower gel. You can see how thick this is. You can choose to add color if you want to. Me, I didn't want to add color in my own. You can choose to add color in your own. I just like this translucent appearance. So you can also choose to add preservative. A mild preservative like the sodium benzoate is okay. That is if you are making a large quantity. So don't forget, we have ebooks available. You can check the description of this video to purchase your ebook. And also don't forget that I conduct online classes on WhatsApp. Check the description of this video. You will find the link. You just click on the link and to take you to the class on WhatsApp. We will teach you a lot of things, the soap making, the body cream, the um, liquid soap, the hair shampoo, detergent production, laundry bar soap production. Thank you for watching and see you next time.